No means no. Today we're talking about the issue of consent in sex. I think consensual sex can be one of the most uplifting, life-affirming, transcendental experiences that you can possibly have. You can shake the pillars of heaven. Obviously, some people don't get the word consent is part of that. That is kind of the baseline of anything that follows. So, here's some just quick tips on how to have consensual sex. I can't believe I'm doing this. Tip one. Life isn't a porno. Whatever scene you're into watching online, if you're into some kinky stuff, if you're into some fantasy things, into some role play, SM, uh, bondage, whatever, that's all cool, man. But guess what? That's not real life, okay? If you're going home with someone that you've met that night, probably don't bring out the gimp mask. Tip two when it comes to role play, SM, bondage, and all that, do make sure you have a safe word, and I know spontaneity can be really fun, but role play, bondage, that kind of stuff, it's not something that you actually want to just have, you know, you know it's not an improv night, it's not something that you just um, play jazz with. Tip three, at any point during any of your sexual encounter, you hear the word no, you stop, okay? You hear a safety word, you stop. It's not rocket science, guys. And girls, if someone's uncomfortable, that's an instant no. That's that's it. That's done. Okay? You go you stop, you reassess the situation, leave if necessary. People have their hang-ups, man. You don't want to trigger someone into having a really bad time. And finally, treat others as you would like to be treated. Other people are not objects, they're not pieces of meat. Don't you want to like bring pleasure to the other person? What's wrong with you? Just don't be a douche.